Hi and welcome to another video by Jim the Car Guy. Today we have a 99 Nissan Maxima. It uh, comes in with uh, the check engine light lit up and uh, after scanning it I find two codes in there. One of them is a P1105 which is the map slash barrow switch um, solenoid and the other one is a P0105 which is a absolute um, which is an absolute pressure sensor uh, problem or map sensor issue. Um, so I'm going to show you how to diagnose uh, both the map sensor and the uh, the solenoid, and we'll find out which one, if if not both, are the problems. Um, usually, what happens is uh, you'll have one or the other fail. It's kind of unlikely you're going to have two failures at the exact same time, but you never know. So uh, let me show you a couple of tools you're going to need. You're just basically going to need a vacuum pump. You're going to need a, uh, a voltmeter, and you're going to need a couple of wrenches to, uh, to get the, uh, the solenoid out so we can actually test it. I am also going to use a um, uh, power probe to power the, uh, the uh, solenoid up. But uh, all right, let me bring you over. I'll show you what I have, and then we're going to get started. OK, this is an example of what tools we're going to be using. I'm going to use a, a power probe just to power the, uh, the solenoid up. We're just going to use a jumper lead to connect up to the uh, to the uh, the solenoid. We're going to use just a uh, pin or a paper clip, a voltmeter, a couple of wrenches, uh, maybe a screwdriver, a light so you can see what you're doing, of course, and a uh, a vacuum pump so we could pump up a vacuum into the uh, uh, the map sensor so we can check to see if it's working properly. So, all right. Let me show you this. This is the uh, the map sensor right here, and the other sensor, the solenoid, is actually right down here. That's the solenoid. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to first we're going to test the map sensor to see if that's good first, and if that's okay, then we're going to go down and we're going to check the uh, um, the solenoid. To check this solenoid, we have to remove it from the car. It's, as you can see, there's no way we can get in there and do anything down there. So, all right, let's do this uh, test on this one first. Okay, first thing we're going to do is before we do anything is we're going to check for a reference voltage first to make sure it's okay. We're going to push this pin in like that, and then we're going to disconnect this from the sensor. Now, the from we're going to check to check the voltage to make sure that we have a. Uh, 5 volt reference and we have 5.14 volts so that looks that looks good next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the uh, the pin and I, I might add the key is in the on position right now we're going to put this pin in through the back of the uh, the plug we're not going to puncture anything. We're just going through. We're going to plug this back in. We're going to check our, our voltage. And now we're showing. You know, let me turn this up so you can see what I'm saying. Hopefully you can see that. See that? Let's turn you up a little bit. 4.38 Bolts. That's on the center white wire. And then what we're going to do is we're going to actually apply vacuum to this. And when we apply vacuum to it, you should see a change in the voltage. So, all right. We're going to pump it. And you can see that it is changing. I've released the vacuum now. So our map sensor appears to be appears to be working. And we're going to release it one more time. All right, so our map, our map sensor appears to be working. So the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to go down and we're going to check the, uh, the solenoid itself. Now, remember when you're checking this, you have to have the key in the on position. We're going to check for our 5 volt reference, then we're going to check on that white wire to see if when we apply vacuum to the map sensor, 
if the, uh, the voltage changes, which it did. So that appears to be working correctly. We did a visual around all of the hoses. Let's take this off. We did visually look at all these hoses just to make sure that there was no uh, broken hoses or vacuum hoses anywhere. And they all appear to be in fairly decent condition. So uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to disconnect that solenoid. There's three wires. Let's get this out of our way. There's three wires down on that solenoid. So I'm going to disconnect those wires. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going to disconnect the electrical connector. I'm going to take off the vacuum hoses, and then we'll take the solenoid up on our hand, and we'll continue checking from that point. Okay, now that we have the, uh, the, the solenoid is disconnected, we have the harness plug right here that was previously connected into the solenoid. We're going to check for, uh, for power at this solenoid to make sure that we have the uh, battery voltage at the solenoid. Now remember, the key is in the on position. And as you can see, we're pretty close to battery voltage right now. It's 11.71 volts, so that's fairly close to battery voltage. So we know that the, uh, that the solenoid has the, uh, the correct power supply going to it. And you, as you know, the, the power is constant. The, uh, um, the ground is what's, what's actually supplied by the computer. So uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to test this solenoid to make sure that this solenoid is good. Let's get this out of the way right now. Okay, we're going to take our, our power probe and we're going to connect it up to the battery here. still have our key in the on position right now. Okay, let's just check this one more time and see where our power is. Okay, so we're going to connect up negative to the solenoid here and we're going to supply are positive to the solenoid with the uh, power probe. All right, so we're just going to touch it here. Now the solenoid, you should hear it click. And I hear nothing. Okay, so our solenoid is not clicking. Let me just shut the key off and we'll, we'll talk about this. Okay, so this is what we do know. The, the MAP sensor itself is working properly. We have the 5 volt reference there, slightly over 5 volts. We connect it up to the white wire with the voltmeter. We apply vacuum to the MAP sensor. The vacuum then changes the voltage up and down the way it's supposed to, so it appears to be that the MAP sensor is working correctly. We then disconnected our uh, solenoid and this solenoid is, has power and ground in here. The power is constant. The solenoid negative is supplied by the computer. What happens is the, uh, we have the regular battery voltage in there so we know that that's okay. We took the solenoid off and now we should be able to connect up a negative and a positive on here and you should be able to feel as well as hear this solenoid clicking. It's usually it's, you'll hear it pretty loud where you could feel it while holding it. This solenoid is not clicking. So uh, I'm confident that this solenoid is no good. We're going to get a new solenoid, put a solenoid in there. We're not going to address anything with the MAP sensor at this point. And uh, we're going to clear the codes out of it. And we're going to go through the diagnostic procedure one more time. 
and I got a feeling this car is out the door and the job is going to be done. So this is the culprit. This solenoid is no good. So we're going to actually call up now. We'll get a solenoid and then once I get the new solenoid in my hand, I'm going to show you the difference between the old solenoid and the new solenoid. You'll be able to hear the clicking from the solenoids. So, uh, all right, so I got to order this in. So once I get it here, we'll come back and we'll, we'll finish up this video. Okay, so now we have the uh, we have the new solenoid. We just got this in the uh, in the delivery a, a little while ago. So now I'm going to take that old solenoid off. I'm going to reconnect this new solenoid, and I'm going to show you how to test this one, so you know that that solenoid, the old solenoid, is bad. So we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to connect the negative up to the one side, and we're going to connect the positive to the other side. And hopefully, you I could you'll be able to feel it or in your case, you'll be able to hear it, you should hear a clicking in the solenoid. Every time you apply power and release it, you should hear the clicking of the solenoid. So uh, let me get set up over here, and I'm gonna show you uh, how we test the, uh, uh, or how a good solenoid should work. Okay, I'm gonna show you one more time with the old solenoid, so you'll know. We have the, uh, the one side. I hope you can see this. Let's get this, let's get this voltmeter out of the way for now. better. Let's see. Okay, we have the one side connected up. Don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but you'll see the one side is connected to the negative, and now this side is positive. Remember when I press the button on the power probe, it actually brings power into it, so we're going to touch it. I don't think you're hearing anything here. Let's see. Now I'm going to grab the, the, the good solenoid. We're going to reconnect our negative. And now we're going to connect our positive. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear this, but I hope you can. I hope you can hear that, but that's the clicking of a normal good solenoid. Let me get my glasses out of here. Okay, let me show you one more time. That's the good solenoid, and I'll show you one more time. And this. See, nothing. Okay, so. Let me just turn it up here so we can talk here for a second. We're going to take this, um, this solenoid now. Quite simply, we're going to reattach that little bolt right here, that little 10 millimeter. We're going to put that back on there. We're going to plug it all back together, reconnect our electrical, and uh, we should be good to go. So, so I'm not going to show you how to reconnect this solenoid because, as you know, it's just basically one screw here, a 10 millimeter. Reconnect our vacuum hose here and our two vacuum hoses up on top right here. Plug our electrical plug back in here and we're good to go. We will obviously clear the codes out of it and then we should be all set. All right, anybody has any questions or comments, they want to talk to me about anything, you can send me an email. I'll be more than happy to talk to anybody about anything. As always, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.